breathtaking insights. A jellyfish tank where you can see the jellyfish right in front of your eyes. And new design, the staff canteen of Der Spiegel Publishing House in Hamburg. Elegant and seemingly weightless, a white spotted jellyfish glides through the water. This fascinating sight can usually be seen in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, but also recently in Rostock, Germany. There, in the Darwinium at Rostock Zoo, these marine animals, some of the largest jellyfish in the world, can be marveled at in an over 1,000 gallon aquarium. These creatures are fairly difficult to keep, have high environmental requirements, and are not shown everywhere. Jellyfish can only be seen in a few aquariums in the world, so visitors will be amazed. There's a big difference between seeing a slimy jellyfish on the beach or swimming around. The largest jellyfish tank in Europe is manufactured in Jülich, Germany. The company Schuran specializes in custom-built aquariums. Evonik supplies the material. One element consists of an acrylite block 236 inches by 87 inches and about 4 inches thick. This block is now put into the oven for the next 15 to 20 hours until it has the right core temperature and reaches the thermoplastic range. In the oven, the temperature is increased very slowly, only about 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. Because of its own weight, the acrylite block has already taken the shape of the form. Now it has to be stretched and fixed manually with bench vices. Then it's put back into the oven for the final step. At the moment, it's about 320 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven. We measure the temperature with this sensor and a sample block which has a core drilling. In this way, we get continual feedback as to how warm it really is inside the block. Afterwards, it has to cool down just as slowly so that no stresses occur. That means that when we measure temperature tomorrow morning, it'll be about 105 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we can turn off the oven and our acrylite cools down slowly over the weekend. The acrylite block we just saw becomes a part of our jellyfish tank. Here we have a half-scale model where we can test the flow conditions and the behavior of the jellyfish. Later, we can transfer this one-to-one -to, -one to our large jellyfish tank. Marine animals have very high demands. Jellyfish are some of the most challenging of all. The flow conditions inside the jellyfish tank have to precisely match the animal's needs. That's why Shuran uses only the highest quality approved materials. They use acrylite exclusively for their aquarium glazing. The light transmission of acrylite is a constant 92%. With glass, on the other hand, you already have a loss of more than 60% at a thickness of 2.4 inches. In addition, the material must meet the structural requirements. With conventional glass, this would be almost impossible, especially for a jellyfish tank of this size. Finally, the custom-built aquarium arrives at its destination, Rostock Zoo. We are standing at the spectator side. The jellyfish tank has to be moved just a little towards us, and then we're finished. From here, visitors will have a fantastic view. It all fits. But now it's time for the real stars to dive into their new home the first white-spotted jellyfish swim around their new aquarium. Now, after all the work is finished, you can really see the dimensions of this aquarium, how amazing it is, and the beauty of the jellyfish. Yes, that is really exhilarating. After years of planning and 15 months of construction, the Darwinium at Rostock Zoo is open. The jellyfish tank is definitely a highlight providing us with an insight into the world of these fascinating creatures that usually remain hidden from most of us. The staff of Der Spiegel Publishing House in Hamburg's Hafen City Quarter can now dine beneath circular soffit islands the color of egg yolk swimming in a sea of more than 4,000 shimmering mirrors. In an intermediary area, the concept is accompanied by a cloud of acrylite XT rods of different lengths. 
the design was developed in close cooperation with the Ippolito Flights Group from Stuttgart. The lighting was designed by Fahre Lighting Design from Munich. Each rod, equipped with a sharply focused 1 watt LED, is polished and clear. At the bottom of the rod, the light is trapped by matting, becomes visible as a light emitting surface, and is reflected back into the rod. This generates a smooth glow, creating an elegant, striking mood for the cloud. 